Welcome to Sandstone Speed... Wait. Something's missing. Something's changed. In this episode, we reveal a new location. So, now that we're here, we've got things to do. Important things. Because I felt something was missing when I started this narrative. And I think I know what it is now. Another piece of the turbo puzzle has arrived. An external wastegate. Because the internal one on this takes a lot more pressure than I actually want to run. So I'll just bypass that and go with an adjustable unit. But first things first. You have to mark out the rough coordinates for my next session of cutting metal. I need to plunge a teardrop shape hole in a spot that's really not easy to drill. So I'm going to call out Old Faithful here to uh, do its thing. I have indexed marked the cutoff pipe. So, do a little bit of welding, get that ready to go. And welcome to the eighth episode of Sandstone Speed Shed. Building a land speed racing motorcycle out of a bunch of spare parts, some new parts, some Amazon Prime parts, mostly parts. Well, folks, I checked my uh, orientation and tacked it on. So now I just have to do some proper welding. Here we go. Lights out. Once again, kind of going to montage our way through the welding fabrication portion of the show. As I explained earlier, the wastegate that came with a turbocharger was a bit higher pressure than I would expect the factory connecting rods to tolerate, which led us to adding an external waste gate. Once I got it out of the box, it proved to be comically larger than the turbocharger that got installed in episode 6, and has snowballed into a running joke of, what can we bolt on this bike that is bigger than the turbo? Well, that was fun. Hopefully you got to see some of the good stuff. My TIG weave is hidden behind the, the pipe next to the blocked head. But this will be hopefully the last time I actually have to bolt up this portion of the uh, assembly. Since I can't just have exhaust burping out right there. I'm gonna have to make a screamer pipe. So I'll get a couple of pies, drop it down. Let's have some fun with time-lapse video, shall we? As we get started putting together a pretty radical screamer pipe out of basically what was left of my inch and a half tubing. All these pie cuts came together and was able to make something visually interesting. With any luck, it should sound pretty cool going down a strip. I'm also really bad at Tadaw shots. Now that we're on the ground floor, I have this piece of home furnishing positioned where I was able to at least get an idea of where my feet wanted to live. And it's just behind that mark. And I've already cut some tubing to help me position. So I think about, about like that. 
is going to be our final, final resting place for our tired souls. Audible groan over the dad joke. This process was a bit nerve-wracking trying to weld spars floating out in space. Hit a target and also slot them for uh, accepting these really nifty foot peg adapter plates I'm about to make in the next shot. They say every cheese hole adds half a horsepower, so let's go for it. Okay, you may not have noticed, but this footage is really sped up. Drilling big holes in a press through even eighth inch material takes a lot of time and patience. Yeah, that's coming along beautifully. So just welding in the plates, having mocked up where the rear set foot pegs would go. I was only able to do what I could reach with a TIG welder. I welded and held it. But they're on there. They're not going anywhere for now. You might be able to watch me finish welding the hard to reach spots on this frame before I go and splash some paint on it. If I can ever decide on a color. Well, left and right foot pegs. What a monstrous creation. So let's run through the checklist. Honda CP550 Super Sport Engine. Yamaha XS750 frame. Custom length swing arm. Custom leading link forks. Modified original frame. Stretch the wheelbase greater than 10%. We've added a turbocharger and a draw through carburetor. There's no front brake, so we die like men. But now that we've got some foot pegs, I'm gonna try it on for size. They say the camera adds about 25 pounds. Also heard it's not advisable for larger guys to wear black and white racing suits because if they crash, someone's going to try and throw them back in the water. I think I like it. I guess I can nap here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and watch my other videos. Uh -oh.